in the block stress recap and other regions. That's kind of interesting. It suggests that different parts of the protein are under different types of constraints. That this part might be doing something different from that part. That's good. That's an interesting hypothesis. That's an interesting clue. So in going through this exploration, what we find is that there seems to be some large scale patterns in terms of the way things recombine across this protein structure. That's good. That tells us that there are functional constraints. And then it gives us hypotheses by which to talk to the meliologist to figure out what's going on. Uh, we also find, using some unrelated stuff that I haven't talked about here, that this system for sort of managing this recombination seems to appear across the phylogeny for all of these, these parasites. It turns out that um, uh, most primates, along with lizards, and I'm definitely not a biologist, I think it's birds, get malaria. But other groups of species don't get malaria. But across these different types, you see the same kind of structure. So if we can understand what's common about them, then we can maybe do some experiments and other kinds of uh, parasites, but also learn uh, what's conserved. And that's really the key here is to figure out uh, what does recombination, uh, what's it allowed to mess up, and what does it have to conserve? The things that are conserved are the things that we'd want to target for vaccine development. From my perspective as the modeler, this is the real take home message, that for this system, the stochastic block model is actually a really good model. It's the right null model here because it tells us if we have parameters in one part of the space, it means one hypothesis for the mechanism, whereas parameters in another part of the space imply something very different. And that's pretty useful, I think. Not all systems are like that. OK, so let me wrap up. <clears throat> Generative models are cool. Networks are cool. I like networks. Uh, Generative models are a really principled way of thinking about modeling and analyzing networks. They allow us to quantify things in a very rigid way, ri rigorous way, and they allow us to find structure in networks uh, that might be difficult otherwise. <clears throat> the stochastic block model in particular is sort of the, the workhorse of this uh, 